Democrats hit with new investigation evidence reveals midterm crimes. Democrats thought they would get away with it they are getting blindsided on Thanksgiving week in an important southern state. The midterms were clearly tainted by Democrat corruption. Almost every close election fell to the Democrats, and all sorts of tricks were caught. George Soros was funneling money and people to states that wound up having voter discrepancies. Witnesses reported seeing ballots both changed and destroyed. Boxes of uncounted ballots magically began appearing in closets and car trunks, and almost all of the uncounted ballots were cast for Democrats. What a coincidence. Many believe Republic. Martha McSally was cheated out of her victory, and the Arizona GOP is auditing their state's shady results. But now another southern state is getting extremely serious they're opening a criminal investigation into Democrats. From WCTV. Democrats conceded in the races for U.S. Senate and Governor but not before Florida asked federal authorities to investigate possible election fraud conducted by the party. The U.S. Department of Justice declined, but the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and the Office of Statewide Prosecution say they haven't opened a criminal investigation into the allegations. Evidence reported to the Department of State suggests a possible effort by Democrats to have voters fix ballots after the state's deadline in at least four counties. Cure forms for mail ballots sent to voters by the party show the return date changed from the day before the election to two days afterwards. Share if you think Democrats tried to steal the Florida elections and should pay.